Lee likes music. I'm Lee, and today we're gonna talk about Jidenna's newest album, The Chief. So Jidenna is one of those artists that suddenly just floated to the top of the pyramid. He and uh, Post Malone, I would say, are in the same group. Post Malone is another artist that just suddenly released an album. And、uh, yeah, just gained a lot of fame and popularity over a short period of time. Jadenna started producing some singles back in 2015. He、uh, produced a single called "Classical Man," I think, and this gained him a lot of fame, a lot of buzz very quickly. He also released some other singles after that, and now he's coming out with.、Uh, he has came, come, came, coming. He just came out with his new album called "The Chief," which. I am not that positive about the genres on this album. Gives us a blend of R&B and rap, and、uh, some of the songs are very authentic. They're very original. There's a blend of, of many different genres, really, but the overarching genres are R&B and rap. Throughout the album, there are also songs that appear to be more theatrical and、uh, orchestral, and some of the songs even take inspiration from action movies, James Bond, for example. So there's definitely songs on this album that sticks out that are very original, but at the same time, I feel like the whole album in general, it wasn't that memorable. There was a lot of average, mediocre stuff going on on this album that I really, yeah. You know what I think about mediocre stuff. Mediocre is even worse than bad sometimes because it doesn't it doesn't give you any feeling. It doesn't give you any、uh, vivid visual image or sensory experience. It's just there. Now I feel like I started off on a very bad note here. Let's look at some of the songs that actually are good. Quite good and、uh, that are standing out. The song Safari, for example, starts out with this very playful melody that I kind of liked. The lyrics of the song revolve around、uh, taking drugs, partying, going crazy, and、uh, that is the reason why he picked his name. That is the reason why it's called Safari because he's kind of comparing this party that is going crazy and wild. He's comparing it to a, a safari full of wild animals. Kind of like the song. It wasn't. That good, but it was good, so I'll give it a six out of ten. The second song that really, really caught my attention is called "White Niggas." Compared to all of the other songs on this album, this song was so different. While the other songs on the album kind of leaned more towards this standard hip hop beat structure, this was more leaning towards、um, chill hop. I would say Jidenna also has this more down to earth style of rapping, which I actually found to be. A lot more suiting for him compared to all of the other songs, where he's、uh, basically a lot more monotone. He is—it、uh, almost seems like he's forcing it a bit.、Uh, to me, at least, that is what it sounds like. And the sole fact that he completely changed his rapping style and、uh, the overall sound on this song. Compared to all of the other songs on the album, just shows me that、uh, you know this is an artist who is still trying to find himself, is trying to find his space in the in the music industry, or is at least trying to experiment and find his way of expressing himself musically. And I think that is good, you know. The way that he is performing his lyrics on White Niggas and the way that he is kind of telling the story is a lot more visual compared to all of the other songs.、Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a、uh, Kendrick Lamar song on Good Kid, Mad City, for example. Kendrick Lamar used to have these snippets of、uh, very visual. Uh, almost like a movie, you know. You have these snippets where people are talking in the background. Something's happening in addition to the song. It's like people are actually breaking into the recording studio, performing a a movie scene or something. And that is really cool. I didn't feel like it was a rip off off of Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar has probably ripped it off from someone else as well. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like this song was a very, very good effort from Jidenna. I actually think that this is the best song off the album, so I'll give it a seven out of ten. Another song that I also liked is "Bully of the Earth." This is the last track on the whole album, and、uh, on this track, Jidenna becomes a lot more theatrical. There's a lot more 
instrumental variety here. It starts out very calm and then builds up to this very firm beat. And then at 150 into the song, the soundscape just completely changes. There's a different melody, there's more orchestral sounds coming in, and uh, yeah, it's just very experimental and fresh to listen to. Bully of the Earth, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Now, one of the songs that I really didn't like at all was, for example, Trampoline. I don't know, for some reason I got this very big Post Malone flashback. Post Malone created this album called Stony, I think earlier, or late in 2016 if I'm not mistaken and uh, yeah I didn't like that album at all so yeah being reminded of Post Malone in Trampoline that was not a good flashback the lady ain't a tramp if she's jumping up and down like a trampoline sounds legit <laughs> like what the lyrics here are just horrendous there are some horns and some classical brass instruments here which is kind of cool I guess. There's this classy and jazz theme going on here under this hip-hop beat but it all kind of clashes together in a very generic and very floaty way that really doesn't catch my attention at all. It's one of those songs that you can listen to and you just zone in and out of it because there's really no depth at all there. So yeah, Trampoline, I'll give this song a 3 out of 10. Another song that I didn't like that dragged down the quality of the album was uh, Helicopters Beware. In the beat of this song, you can hear this uh, xylophone, which is playing a very James Bond theme song inspired melody. Jidenna was actually inspired by James Bond and these action movies to actually create this album. This is one of the feels that he wanted to to uh, produce when he initially started creating this album, but he didn't quite follow through, <laughs> it didn't end up being that great either way. I mean, you can start out with a good concept, but if you're not following through, if you're not creating something that is very cohesive, and uh, yeah, I, I didn't feel like this album in general was cohesive, it was very flattened out, he spread himself too thin. Helicopters Beware is a great example of this, you know, this uh, this beat is very crittery at times. At certain parts of the song it also sounds like Jidenna is just rapping too loud into the microphone, kind of breaching this volume barrier and it just sounds bad. It sounds like they did a bad mixing or a balancing job or something, I don't know. And other than that, the song wasn't that memorable. Can't really say that it impressed me in any way, so I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Now to sum up this album, I want to say that Jidenna included a lot of different soundscapes. There are, it's just an album that is filled with all kinds of inspirations and uh, flirtations. There's of course these overarching genres of hip hop and R&B, and he combines these genres in his own little genre, which is calling swank. I don't know how <laughs> prolific this genre is, but there's all kinds of things going on in addition to that as well. There's this 50s soul pop inspiration. I think he's also inspired by Kanye West. There's some chill hop going on here, and there's also this cinematic uh, James Bond inspired theme going on as well. And this is the thing that, that's a problem with this record. He's spreading himself too thin. It feels like this album is just going here and there and it has no direction whatsoever. Some of the songs are sticking out, but in general, not many of the songs are memorable. They're just cheap hip-hop beats with some simple rapping on top of it, maybe some witty and very harsh rapping and lyrics going on here and there, but it's not something that you can grasp and really take into account and dive deep into. It's not like this record is inspiring you to to dive deeper and lis listening more. That is this record in a nutshell, so I'll give this album a 4 out of 10. Alright, that was it guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about Jidenna, about this new album in the comments below, alright? I would love to hear what you guys think, if you hate it, if you like it. Also, if you're into album reviews, if you're just as passionate about music as I am, then I highly suggest you subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button below, and uh, yeah, then there'll be new videos coming out every single week, so uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Hope to see you later, have a good day, bye. You know what would be really cool? If I had like a series inside my series, a video inside my video, 
this can be it, you know? This is a short 20 second video mm. at the end and I can talk about my the vinyls I like the most. I don't know what to do in these series to be honest. What do you think guys? What should I base my mini series about?